What's up you guys? So if it's not already pretty obvious from the title, I'm going to be showing slash reviewing a product with you guys, the Pony O. Um, I would be very surprised if you have watched one of my videos and haven't had this product come up as an ad on like Facebook or Instagram, because that's how I found it. I don't remember what particular video it started like popping up for me afterwards, but it was like pretty relentless. I was seeing it like six times a day. I finally watched the whole video of the advertisement and it piqued my interest because as you know, I'm really interested in trying all of these different hair products. And this one, to begin with, I didn't quite see the point. I'm not going to lie to you. I went onto the website and I thought it looked kind of stupid, but I received it a few weeks ago and I was saving it in the package because I wanted to do like a first impressions, but I opened the little envelope that it came to me in and it wasn't like wrapped in plastic or anything. So I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna try it or whatever. But before I tell you about my experience with it, which is literally just trying it out yesterday, today. I will show it to you and kind of explain it a little more for those of you who don't know what the hell I'm talking about right now. So this is a Ponyo. It's meant to be like a hair tie, hair elastic, whatever you call it, wherever you're from. As you can see, it kind of looks like the strap of an Apple watch or something. And it is not elastic at all. It is actually made out of copper. So you can bend it around. It's just like a loopy piece of metal with some kind of silicone coating, I guess. And then I don't know if you guys can see this, but the inside it has like little bumpy things and it feels just like rubber. It's a different kind of feeling than the outside. The outside is like slick, like an Apple Watch strap. And then the inside is kind of like what you would find on like the top of bras, you know, to kind of make it stick to your skin. They say you're supposed to bend it like this and then with your hair like squished in it, you just like tuck it and that's supposed to be tight enough to keep your hair up. Now a few facts about my one. I obviously picked black because I'm very boring, but now that I know how kind of big they are, I think I might get like a tan one or something. Um, they are quite pricey for hair ties. They cost $8.60 something. You probably know that if you go down to your local Walmart or anywhere, you can get like a pack of 60 hair ties for $2. So yes, this one is pricey, but they do say that you're able to use it between five and 600 times, which is a lot until I guess like it breaks after being bent so much, which is something that I was wondering about, but I don't think that's something that I'm going to see the next few years. So $8 for a couple of years, that sounds pretty good to me. I guess it just really comes down to how much I like using it as opposed to other hair ties. Now, if you were like me and you are still wondering what is the point of this as opposed to like having a regular hair tie, they claim that this is supposed to not pull at your hair follicles and it is supposed to be creaseless on your hair. So they say that even if you have straight hair like I do today, if I put this in my hair over a ponytail, when I take it out, there shouldn't be a crease there. Something I am a little curious about though that I would like some clarification on if anyone has the answer or if anyone sees this at any point in time is how this is not pulling at my follicles because I could only imagine that if you if you have your hair up in a ponytail with this or another hair tie I mean it's always kind of pulling at your hair follicles that's I don't know that's what I thought I mean something is keeping all of your hair up there you know gravity's pulling it down so I don't know that's that's what I think. So follicle wise, I don't know about all that, but they claim that it doesn't yank your hair out when you take it out or you're putting it in. And also it not having the super tight tension on specific parts of your hair. Cause I know a lot of people who wear ponytails like every single day, whether your work needs you to do it or you just live in a hot climate or something, hair can actually start breaking from having hair ties there all the time. I'm not a great example of that because I almost never have my hair up just because I'm more comfortable having it down. But for that reason, I. I think this could be a good solution. So I guess I'm just going to show you how it works. I think I'll just do like a middle pony. They do give you like a few instructions. I mean, it's pretty common sense, at least to me. They say to put these two fingers to grab your hair because it's not stretchy. It's actually quite awkward the first time you're doing it and you expect it to like stretch, but it doesn't. I put three fingers in there just because that's easier for me. And then put your hair up. I don't know how else to explain that. Okay, so I've just got my hair in like my hand and then I'm going to pull it through this. Okay, so all my hair is through the ponyo and I'm kind of holding my hair tight, otherwise it just becomes loose and weird. Um, just until I squeeze it shut and then you just tuck it underneath. And that's it. So I have no idea what it looks like, I can't see, but 
it's doing the job. I mean, my hair feels secure, but it's in a different way. Maybe I'm tying my hair up too tight to begin with, but this does not feel, I don't know, it doesn't feel tight on my hair, at least not all of my hair. It feels like majority of it is just like hanging out and then the top ones are a little tight on, but it is very comfortable to wear. Also, I really like how it makes your ponytail look a little thicker. Actually, it makes mine feel a lot thicker too because it's essentially just turning your hair into a cylinder with like nothing on the inside. So it's giving the illusion that there's a lot more than there is. Another thing that they really boast about, which I didn't really think was going to be a thing or rather I thought it was going to look stupid is when you put it up into a high ponytail, it makes your hair look really, really, really fat. And the only reason I thought it would just look weird is because first of all, there are two versions of this. This is the Ponyo 2.0 or something, which is essentially just like a slightly thinner version. But the original one that I think they took their like product pictures with on the website and they put in a lot of the advertisements. There's a girl with like a high ponytail, but instead of it looking like round, like her ponytail looks like flat, like a square. So it looks like she's got this big rectangle on her head. And that just did not look cute to me at all. It just, I wasn't interested in that. And I kind of expected it to look the same way on me. But then when I looked on their Instagram and like other people that have it, that is not at all how you have to wear it. I don't recommend them changing those pictures actually, because it was a little, at least for me, it was a little bit of a turn off. But let me just put it up in a high ponytail and I'll show you like what it looks like. It's so easy to get like a really full looking ponytail with these. Okay, so I've got my hair up in a pretty high ponytail. And I'm just gonna pull it through and then I'm going to tighten. And now I know you can't see this, but I'm just like bending it around. Okay, so don't judge this ponytail too hot. I know I've got like flyaways and everything, but not the point of the exercise. I just wanted you to see what the ponytail looks like. So this is it. I hope you can see it even though it's black and I got makeup on it. But this is what it looks like. I'll show you from the side. So comparatively, it might be a little hard for you to tell because you haven't seen what my regular ponytail looks like, but it does not look like this, I will tell you that much. This thing just adds like instant volume and I feel like it doesn't look stupid. If it looks stupid, someone tell me, please, but I don't think that it does. It's not anywhere near as like, like see how it looks like a little square like this right now? Like in the, in the pictures, they've like almost left it like out like this. And that just looks completely crazy to me. So when I fold it in, I make sure to like, squeeze the sides so that it looks completely circular the whole way around and then like I'll take it out I know it hasn't been like nearly enough time but I'll take it out and then we can see if there's any kind of crease because I've kind of been messing with my hair for a little so to undo it you just unfold it and literally just pull it apart from that thing you squished in the first place and it comes right out no ripping at all no tension nothing and as you can hopefully see my hair has remained completely straight um I've just gotta like calm it down a little bit but yeah my hair is completely straight, completely tangle free, exactly how it was. And even though I did not have this in for a very long amount of time, I did just straighten my hair like 20 minutes ago. So for it to have not have taken another shape is actually really impressive. And as we can see, there is not one hair that has been ripped out in this thing. So I guess at the end of the day, I'm willing to accept that I made a false judgment in the first place and trying new things if you can afford to. This is quite cheap, I think. I mean, maybe not for a hair tie, but if you're going to be trying things out, I think $8 is okay. If you were curious about this or maybe you've never even heard of this before, I do highly recommend you go check it out. I did not expect to like this at all. I thought that this was going to be like a slam video, but I was so wrong. I really do love this thing and I think I'm going to be buying more of them. I don't wear my hair up often, as I said. Even if I'm not wearing this every day, I do think that this is really, really great to wear. Just for like volumizing your hair if you want to wear a ponytail, if you're going out somewhere nice or you just want to look a little nice though. I just really like this thing a lot more than I thought I was going to. Really the only downside is that you cannot keep this on your wrist unless you have the world's tiniest hands. This video is not sponsored at all. I paid for this by myself, the whole $8 I paid for it. So I know some people get a little freaky about sponsored videos. This is not one of them. I hope you guys know that I would never work with a brand if I didn't actually like the product. I would never try something if I didn't want to genuinely try it myself or if I've already used it. Like I'm not out here trying to like sell stuff to you. So I just wanted to get that off my chest. Daisy.
Hi, baby. That's it for me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love showing you and introducing you guys to new things and experiencing it with you because this was a brand new thing for me. If you have any recommendations of things you want me to try or suggestions for videos, please leave them down below because I am dying to make a lot more of them for you. I know I've been slow for the past couple of months, but I'm hoping to get into the full swing of it again so there will be a new video every single week. I could not do any of this without you guys. Your love and support means absolutely everything everything to me so thank you so much if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate it we have a lot of fun on this channel and i would love to see you here more often i love you guys and i'll see you in next week's video bye